Kirby's Dream Course is a highly underrated game. Not many people know about this game, mainly because it's one of the more obscure Kirby games. And the reason for that is that I originally started off as a non-Kirby game called Special Tree Shop, which was eventually released as a standalone game. Kirby's Dream Course was developed by HAL Laboratory and released on the SNES on September 21st, 1994 in Japan and on February 1st, 1995 in North America. The plot of the game is absent in the North American version. However, in the Japanese version, after letting the start screen idle for a bit, a cutscene will play explaining the story. When going to bed, Kirby notices that all the stars in the night sky are gone, and upon further inspection, he sees that King DDD has stolen all but one of the stars. So he uses his last star to chase after King DDD to recover the stolen stars. The game is pretty much miniature golf with Kirby as the ball. The objective in each level is to hit all enemies until one remains, which then turns into the hole you must then jump into. Each enemy can potentially turn into the hole, so you're giving some flexibility on how you want to complete each level. On top of the many different ways you can shoot Kirby, there's also many powers you can use to help you complete each level. There's a total of 12 powers that you can obtain from specific enemies such as the wheel power, freeze power, tornado power, and of course the stone power to name a few. Kirby has a health bar represented by the traditional tomatoes. Each shot takes one tomato, but they can be recovered by hitting enemies or completing a level. Running out of health will cause you to lose a life, and losing all your lives gets you game over, and you will have to start the course all over again, so completing each level with as few shots as possible is essential. If you manage to get a hole in one, you will also get an extra life. There's a total of 8 courses, each having 8 levels, so there's plenty of variety in these levels, and some that are pretty challenging. Having stage hazards such as spikes, water, trees, and even being able to fall off the stage. After completing each course, your total shots are tallied up, and depending on how many shots you took, you will earn a bronze, silver, or gold medal. Earning medals in courses allows you to unlock a variety of things, such as extra courses. There's also a fun two-player mode where you compete head-to-head -head in courses specifically designed for two players. The objective in this mode is to collect as many stars as you can within each level. You collect stars by hitting enemies, but the other player can also steal them by simply running through them. You still have health bars, but instead of losing in life when you run out of health, you go to sleep for a turn. You can also attack each other using powers, or even steal each other's powers by simply hitting each other. So there's plenty of strategy involved. Kirby's Dream Course was one of my favorite games growing up, and it's definitely a game worth checking out. I'm Eric Gill, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.